Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, so we've got another tutorial here, so you guys can go give him a follow down in the description. I'll put his links down there. Actually got sent this image ages ago, so we might not find it on here. Uh, his style and stuff, you can see that it's very much the natural tones. So like, I don't think there's much to do in split toning or the curves in terms of tones. There's quite a bit of contrast and quite a bit of clarity. So clarity gives off that crispiness, that quite fine, harsh contrast clarity gives off and then a very slight amount of fade with the curves to the blacks and the shadows and then yeah I think with the use of filters we could bloom a lot of these highlights so doing a little bit with the filters and brushes but yeah we'll do this one super quick let's get into it all right so making this image look like this one I'll show you guys the cropping there isn't much going on though we just centered the car there so coming back settings 2.885 shutter just at least double your focal length low iso because it's bright not too much going on there okay let's up the exposure and then let's do a little bit of contrast i'll jump straight to clarity because we want that crispy look that he has and it also adds in what looks like contrast okay so as for up here it's just up the highlights because I want more brightness especially up here so I think highlights does that shadows possibly because it's all quite dark and let's bring down the whites for a touch of flatness because we don't have that much pop and then a bit more contrast with the blacks okay so his images there's not too much going on with the curves so if it, if I just turn them on you can see how that kind of we, we get a bit more contrast here because we're dropping the shadows it's a bit more contrast and then we're not dropping the white point because we want to keep our whites nice and bright and then the mids are just right there so there's not too much there's just that slight fade to the blacks very slight and then a bit of contrast here and then yeah it's a very very simple one here and you can see how like we're dropping those high shadows so the whole image this whole half of the image is getting darker probably because of all this getting brought down so and then color channels we've got nothing in here because it's practically just the natural tones like there's not much there's i don't see any reds in the mid-tones or greens in the mid-tones or anything so we're just going to leave this and just use this for the slight change of contrast so we're pretty much done i think we're pretty much on to like colors and stuff I'll just drop saturation a bit let's come down to hsl now we look quite green and there's a good chance our white balance is off so we could come up here and change the white balance probably should do that probably but we'll come down here and let's just shift all these greens to more of an orange and I think this will also give the appearance of a white balanced image and then obviously greens hold a lot of yellow in them so we're going to go this way and we're going to try to get all these same tones that he has especially to his greens okay and then we're going to bring down the greens you can see how ours are just quite quite harsh let's bring these down and then we will up the yellows okay and we don't have many colors in this image so it's pretty much all we need to do so now we're gonna have to i'll quickly do sharpening now because he's got quite quite the sharp look to his images so we're going to bring it up quite a bit and then we'll go for about 50 for the masking holding option sliding this this is where we are, sh are sharpening right so while we're here we'll do the vignette we'll do a slight vignette because we're going to come in with filters and stuff very shortly we're going to remove the highlights from the vignette so it doesn't affect the highlights midpoint i'm going to drag it in so the vignette goes with more towards the middle of the image if that makes sense and then a bit of grain um, and then we are good for color and 
colors in that and now we're just gonna bring out the image a bit more with filters and stuff so so what i think we can do is we've got one right here oh and we're gonna remove clarity and that's gonna give the softness and the glow to the outside of the car but you can definitely see the car has quite a bit of crispiness so we're keeping all the clarity from here and then we're removing it outside of this circle and then up here i sort of want the glow like i, th I feel like there's a lot of haze especially to those trees and stuff you can see how dark our greens and that look right now so what i'm gonna do is drop the clarity up here so it's gonna help get a bit of that glow but what i'm also gonna do is drop the dehaze and then that's gonna give us that hazy effect and make it feel not so harsh lighting okay so then what i see all the time is darker foregrounds so we are going to come here and we're going to drop exposure and we're going to up the contrast and yeah it just darkens our foreground he might have done it slightly different but i think we're good there yeah and then we're looking pretty good we're back up top now and i'm just going to brighten the sky a touch more i'm going to go more shadows yeah more shadows up that's better and now if we just look at our before and after so far and then what we can also do is go his image our image what i want to do is just go so i think we want to like bring out the leading lines kind of so if i press o this brush is just affecting down here and down here so what I'm thinking is just bringing up the contrast and that just sort of makes these leading lines stand out a bit more, darkens them a bit as well. So I don't know. I'm pretty happy with that, guys. I think we're pretty close. Here's our before and after super quick tutorial for this one because there's not much going on in terms of color. It's pretty much the natural tones. And then as for contrast, there's not heaps in the tone curve not a lot not too much at all so yeah we look pretty good like i'd maybe i could up the grain otherwise we got there pretty quick and yeah i'll leave that one there for you guys if you guys haven't already watched the free training i've got down in the description about color and curves so really really fundamental things you need to know to edit photos to follow my youtube tutorials you need to know this that's why i put together a free training because it's just something everyone needs to know about curves and lightroom and color so you'll feel much more comfortable after watching that free training down in the description and then if anyone's interested to join the course we are putting together the number one resource for photo editing bringing together a bunch of creators that teach you exactly how they get their style by providing the raw image providing the settings the preset and then you follow along we are also breaking them down why they do what they do and things like that inside the course links down in the description guys comment who you want to see and i'll catch you in the next one and back to the sponsor of this video squarespace so squarespace is where you can build your website and it covers everything you need so if you want to sell products sell merch if you're a photographer and you want to sell presets or your prints then you can do all of that with squarespace they have award-winning templates and then along with those templates you can customize your website to exactly how you like make your first website with squarespace use the link down in the description to save 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain.